in the scene and it's it's a massive game well but he's on a row that's very long but at the moment he's halfway down it and things are going pretty well goals are going in points are going on the board we've teased it as one of the best the most remarkable comeback stories we will ever witness here in this eSport, potentially. You talk about Swiss comebacks before, Ryan, when the days when you were playing, when you looked around you, those players that was here and three, that went four and three. This tops it for me, genuinely, just because of the... The level of player. Yeah. The group. The stakes on the line. Here is Tex now, looking to kick off this game in the best way possible. Hansen. Cut it back nicely, does eventually get defended well by Obram. I've not been too impressed with um, with Renard, the item at centre-back. I feel as if, I don't know, just Van Dijk. I, I just think Van Dijk has to be in the teams of the animation he gets. He's just... Even gold, Van Dijk. Yeah, genuinely. We know that Wendy Renard obviously fits within the requirements. About two and a half million coins for the Olympic Lyon defender to get into this year's team of the year. That's a mistake at the back. That could be costly. Great step there from Ogren. It's Frank Ribéry, one of the interesting picks in O'Brien's team, the only player to use the French team of the year icon. Defended well there by Alfonso Davies. And just looking at a bit of a, a pass record between these two players. This is the fourth time that they have... The ball again just gets there. So the fifth time these two have played, Tex and O'Brien. It's their second time matching up, of course, this year on the FC Pro. But before that, they've matched up in the last three editions of the yearly ecosystem of tournaments. They matched at the World Finals back in 2022, played last year in a qualifier. And on paper, Oberon has had more wins over Tex in the last five meetings. Tex looking to turn the fortunes round now. What a time it would be to do that. Great ball. Patelis finds Xavi. Has been so good at switching the ball. Can he be a goal scorer though? Not on that occasion. Look at the run from Haaland as well. <clears throat> Isn't going to play this time. Just a triggered runs there, just to offer. Oh, <laughs> since it offers support going forward, he's walked off the pitch. Just off topic, we know Levy David has gone through. There is a world tonight where he can actually create a bit of a record point tally of a player that's qualified. We know that Anders Vergang is the only player that has gone through unbeaten. But there is a world where we could see Levy pick up 21 points tonight, which would be the highest ever point tally we have seen. 21 out of 20, 24 points. That is... It's <laughs> remarkable, isn't it? Next level. We did tease that he has been informed, Levy, and he continued to show that tonight. Here's a chance. That's what, you're, that's what he looks for, the finesse with Graham Hansen. That's offside, yep, offside. They're trying to head it back to Pateas. There's been a goal in the other game. Levy against the one artist has fallen. Well, he wants it, doesn't he? Yeah, fallen fortunately. They're just a Renard again. You see, it's the animations. I'm telling Brandon, man, come on. I know my stuff. She can't, it's just, it's just different with Van Dijk and her. There's just a, there's a level difference, irrespective of the stats. Is it Oberon? Oberon looking to have his first real chance of the game. Here's Haaland. Ciao Cancelo and team of the year, Javi. I've uh, been unbelievable together. Yeah, I, honestly, I've been impressed with Cancelo and Javi, but I think more so I'll say Javi just because I didn't know what to expect. In terms of not just obviously his passing, it goes without saying how good he is with his play styles, his attributes in game. Good step forward there from Tex, direct down the wing. Where's the cutback? Oh, it's right it. It's dangerous. I have to say as well, Tex might be the most committed player to the Trailblazer promo. He has the most Trailblazer items in his starting 11. And there's a shot! Oh my! Oh my goodness, he's what? That is, you know what, that's something that's worked on because he's probably noticed how much Aubrey moves the goalkeeper from corners. A power shot in there trying to get Aubrey off guard there and it almost worked out. It was fly, wasn't it? Look at this. See again on the replay. The right, goalkeeper movement here from Aubrey. He clicks the right stick, he moves him across, anticipating a cross, whipped into the back post. It didn't come. And the power shot, honestly, very, very unfortunate from Tex to not find the back of the net. That was, yeah, as I say, it has to be well worked on then. Well, let us know at home. What is your score prediction for this game? We said between the two of them, they have scored so many goals. Tex scoring 15 goals in just two games tonight. 
Obron as well, certainly feeling confident. May have just lost his last game to Levy, but before that, he kicked off his birthday in winning ways here at the FC Pro Open. It's a good press there from Obron. Unlucky to not retrieve possession, but Tex plays out of it well. Goes for some sort of customised juggle there with Hansen. Step overs, Tex waiting. Good defending. For away through Obron, great defending from Cafu. Big win, bow from the team of the year, Alexi Pateles. There's Hansen, there's the finesse, and there's the bar again from Tex. Um, it's just the finesse shot trait. You can never, ever, ever switch off. You have to move your goalkeeper as soon as the angle opens up. Oh, Harland, if he played the ball there, he could have been in with, with Mia Ham. He's oh, played it this time. Into Ham, great oh. feet, Obra, oh, big chance, better save. <laughs> Yeah, that power shot cancel from Urban. He's got a corner, Haaland here. We know how dominant he is in the air. Doesn't actually win it against Graham Hansen at the near post. Tex to play out from the back. Every player back there for Tex. He's triggering runs here. Just look, just look how important it is to trigger runs here. Just tapping L1. Predictions in the chat as well from Lightning at McQueen saying 3-2 to Tex is his prediction. Brandon, what's your prediction? Can't give you one of those, Ryan, unfortunately. <laughs> just give us goals. Just give us plenty of goals in a storyline, maybe. Here's Patel Estil, literally sending players to sleep on the floor. P Patel Estil, come back, Tex! Lead by a goal to nil! The stakes get higher! So, oh, just look at it with Patel, just twisting, turning. The step over was very lucky there, but the stop into the step over boost, the pass across goal with a driven pass. No one's oh, no thinking about that pass though. You, me, anyone, I'm not thinking of a shot there. He saw the pass. <laughs> you see how much it means from him as well with the celebrations. Hopefully we can take a quick look at the table as well between everybody in Group D. Fuma on watching in the stands. Levy top 18 points as it stands. Tex oh. in the top two. It's shaking up. Uh oh. Oh my god. He was goodness. on one point before a ball was kicked. Mm -mm. Wow. I mean, if you realise, a lot of players have been sitting in the players' area and lounge watching Fuma. Yeah, he's here. He's, he's in the studio. About 15 yards away from all the players. He's been oh, ham. Big God. save, Schmeichel. I think there's a way in which, obviously, Fuma, he still plays Auburn in the last game. Tex plays against Levy. So it, it's not going to come down to round five. It's gonna come, it could come down to goal difference. Seriously, that game against the one for Tex winning 9-0 could be the deciding factor if he potentially progresses. Of course, there's still a long way left in this game. Great ball roll scoop from Tex. Look, we all know that this game is not going to end 1-0. It just simply isn't. This Pateas item as well. Oh, my goodness. That, yeah. Well, scores from the other game. Levy is leading by a goal to nil. We know that Levy has qualified regardless of what he does now. He can put the controller down if he wants. He is going through. Still, though, he wants to top the group. Because if he tops Great the group... Step. He will not play against his teammate in Emre Yilmaz. He'll play against Umit of RB Leipzig. And they'll be on opposite sides of the brackets, which means they could only meet in the grand final. That's what he'll be playing for today. Just top the group. All over the top. Ball forward. Is there a head back down? There is by the defensive side of Obram. I think that's why the playstyle plus is so important. Just the trajectory of the passes over the top. A lot more accurate. Whipped faster. Good press again from Tex. It's just so effective when you have... Somebody with that play style and you play this way, utilising it in-game. Auburn, we haven't seen much of. Obviously, some of the shots he's had with Mia Ham, but other than that, not too much to separate himself from Tex. Three minutes away from half-time. Tex leads by a goal to nil. It's good dribbling. Harlan with the pace and the power. Mirham's there. There's also options on the edge of the box. Harlan drives back. Patellas, big charge. Goal for Oprah. He makes it 1 1 before half time. It's from nothing. Genuinely, Harlan pushes it here. I thought he may have played it a little bit too heavy there. The touch sort of gets caught between his feet and he manages to shoot across goal. Take a look again. Oh, it's just to switch off with Van Dyke there. It's, yeah, it's unfortunate for Tex. It's a great moment for Oberon. For Fuma, if anything, I, I feel like the draws are good.
good result for Fuma. I think that's probably the best result he could ask for. Because it then puts it completely in his hands. If he wins the last game, he progresses. It certainly would give him a bit more control on his own destiny there. Half time in Levy's game. Levy leads, as we said, against the one loss by a goal to nil. That's in half time. This is the last chance of the half in the Tex Obron feature matchup tonight. Any time of one minute, that has pretty much been played. And that will do us at the half-time break. It is 1-1 here, Tex against Obron. There's been one man that's been keeping a close eye on the action. That's Boras. Boras, what have you made of the first 45 minutes? Lovely game, but this here is so genius from Tex. As we can see now, uh, this year so far, the best corner kick, the most meta one, is a short one. And then you go for the cross uh, far poles. And, and the way to stop this is to move the keeper. So we must now go here, uh, triangle twice to move the keeper up here and try to stop the header. But Tex sees this, all right? He, he sees this and he has now a huge space near post. He then answers this, counters this with a power shot near post. Just a bit too much power, but the whole like idea is genius. You see now, keeper moves and open chance, but that is unlucky a bit. Too much power. But that is a genius work from Tex, and that is from me here, and let's go now back to the commentary. Thank you very much, Boras. Yes, what a first 45 minutes it was, and I mean, Tex hit the crossbar on two occasions in that run. Yeah, he had a finesse shot as well with Hansen on the edge, just further showing the amount of chances he's trying to create, trying to score and get the goal difference up. Of course, get him in a good position against Ogren, but here's one man waiting, Fuma, to, to see which way the result falls. As we said, I think if... Okay, let's think this through, Brandon. If he... If Obren wins this game, Obren has to play against Fuma, right? If Fuma wins, he technically still qualifies. So, more or less, every result sort of favours him. Well, nothing technically goes against him. It's a weird one. I don't know how to... I don't know how to envision it, honestly. It's a weird one. We're joined by FG. Good to see you here, man. I already know I like Casey. I know that I'm on the camera. <laughs> uh, we saw that before, Casey. Um, yeah, the possibilities are endless. This is exactly what esports is all about. We could be watching history here. I mean, saying that as the second half goes underway very, very soon, Tex still needs to score, doesn't it? He does. He has to win. He still needs to win. He has to he win. He needs to try and yeah. turn this next half around. I tried to ask Brandon for a prediction. He didn't give it to me, FG. I don't blame him, to be honest. Are you going to give me one? I mean, to be honest, I think one? the Twitch chat should fair be point. for That's him. a fair point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I won't give you one in fairness. Yeah, there you go. We'll agree to disagree on that one. Let us know your score predictions in the chat. Who do you think wins this game? Obron against Tex in round four tonight. Von Pastor, the uh, interesting choice from Obron. Great play. De Bruyne can hit them from there. Oh, he went for the finesse as well. Goalkeeper movement went the other way as well, anticipating the finesse on the left foot. We know that De Bruyne has got an unbelievable finesse, don't we? Well, yeah. I do now, yeah. I've got that item. I've not finessed once with him, but I will be when I get <laughs> home tonight. Don't worry about that. Remember to switch the play of him as well a few times. You'll be seeing me playing long ball, long ball, long ball after tonight. And we'll see uh, Ryan with Xavi, TV of the year in his team this weekend. Yep. Oh, look at the ball. Yep, that's, that's it. Really a chance. Dynasty's Haaland! Goal! It that is never crazy. in doubt. Look how quick. Honestly, I can't wait for the replay to come up. Look how quick he turned defence to attack. Just two passes. Ribery into hand. One touch. Boom. Double ball. Harlem with the pace, the power, the green time finishing from Fuma. That ball there. Timing of that through ball. Perfectly weighted. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Great way to score. That's it's just never goal. ever in doubt, is it, with this early Harlem who keeps rising in price. He's very very close to eight million coins. I just had a look um, during the first half. Was he not four and a half million coins last week? Yeah. That. I know a couple of people I won't expose them for their own sake. This is a goal here from the one-off. Get back into the game. A knockdown from the man again, Erling Haaland and Pele's winter wildcard item. He's happy with that one, at least. I mean, it could be setting up for something very, very special on Saturday as well, because if Levy, I mean, Levy doesn't finish top, I mean, there's a possibility it could be against his teammate. teammate. Yeah, that is unbelievable. All right. If Levy comes through second place, he will play Emre Yilmaz in the quarterfinals on Saturday, which is great play. not very nice. Ronaldinho for Tex. Oh. <laughs> Interesting choice of finish there, but just didn't really get the conviction he was looking for. With it being nine minute half, there is so, so much to yeah. play here as well. So much time left, so much can change. Oh my goodness, the ball. Pardon. Oh, that's a poor touch. 
What an Kept evening of there. Sports. Tex. Keeping away possession there, and he might be made to pay for it. Player lock tees once or two times there. Back to Bellingham, De Bruyne. Obron can go oh, direct. Ooh, the keeper movement was predicting a finesse. It didn't come. He drove into the box. Obren with the corner. Cannot concede again, Tex. Otherwise, the pressure will really start to mount. It's good defending. Big win, Javi. A chance to break now. So many players around him. A big tackle there from Patelis. What a game this is, by the way. This is absolutely end-to-end. -end. Another goal over here. Levy looking to break the point tally record. He'll be on 18 points with this one. He has to go again. Beautiful goal. To play tonight, too. He could end the night on 21 points alongside topping the group. O'Brien is still in possession with this somehow. I thought he was going to opt for the free kick for it to, to fall his way. De Bruyne, great dribbling. Just hasn't let go of this ball. Azzy Ribery darting around the oh, box. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, what a goal. Oh, that's, yeah, fair enough. So patient in the build-up was Obron. And just watch the turn in here of Frog Ribery when he gets the ball. Twist, twist, twist. Back again, left foot, green, see ya. That is beautiful. How on earth do you defend against that, Ryan? That, yeah, you can't. You just have to hope and pray, and that is incredible. Incredible build-up there from, from Obron. Wow. Three. Quick thinking, he went right, he went left, he went left a bit, a bit more, and then bang. Well, this is where... We have to see another level. Two goals down against a player who will not let up also defensively. He will be so compact at the back now. Remember, Tex has to win. Oh, that touch. You know, the Bombasta choice, it makes a bit more sense. Cause yeah, now we're seeing it, She's done very, right? very well tonight. <laughs> that post. Haaland is there in the air, cuts it back. One more pass into Ribery. Oh, he's done a little bit too much. They didn't think it, the ball would have... We would have been in so much space with the ball in the box. Oh, Tex, oh, again. It's just some, making a few more mistakes in this game compared to the others. Maybe the break. You could argue that slightly caught him off guard a little bit. I was just going to ask that as well. Um, he had such great momentum going his way, and then he did have the game off. Yeah, it does How much make a, of a difference. difference. Does that make? It's a drastic difference for me anyway, because you, you go in. Obviously, you're you're taking the break when you're on a, a full flow. You're playing incredibly well. You take a break, whereas your opponent also carries on playing. And I believe Aubrey's result in the last round evades my mind. I think he played Levy actually, so it wasn't even. He didn't even win the game. It was a close fought game, but he still keeps warm. Yeah, he's still playing a game against one of, well, the, the person who's top of the group so far, so yeah. the level will be high. Exactly, right? and again, when you take a break, even if you're practicing in that game, I know Tex wasn't, it's still not the same intensity, so your mind isn't, it's not on the same level as if you're playing on stage right now, so maybe that could play into the, the effect as well, but Aubrey's been incredible. What did you do in your breaks? Oh, it depends how long it was. <laughs> so if you've got a game off, what would you yeah. do in your break? In this break now? Well, well, go and grab a coffee. The first thing I would do is go and get sweets or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, fair enough. But I mean, I wouldn't want to play another game no. of FC. No. Like you uh, said, I think you need a little, you need like a couple of minute break. You need to get back out there. Yeah. But a 50 minute, one hour break, it slows you down massively. Yeah. As you said, we're in the second half of proceedings here. Tex has to win if he wants to try and stay in this tournament. Also, a small teaser for you. Obron plays against Fuma in our last game today. That one will still have something on the line. That that could be it. It will be if the, if the results stay the same, the game to qualify. One of those two will qualify. He basically, whoever wins, but of course, there's goal difference now. If Auburn can push on, if Tex can claw back. 22 minutes on the clock for Tex. Score now. Ronaldinho Beautiful. dancing back That's inside. It. Here we go. That's it, Tex. Game on. Just the twisting, the turning, the step over, playing it straight back again. Another step over forward and played into Hansen. I always laughed that FG by you up. Hansen, always trouble is a Hansen. You know what? I wasn't actually it wasn't actually me who laughed at you. It was Boras, but 
I'll take the blame for him because I had my doubts as well, but what an incredible FC item she is. She causes me a lot of problems every time I play against her. For me, it's just that we see you get this five-star skill moves with the the dribbling to match as well. You then have the, just the finesse shot trait. I keep emphasizing on that, how important it is. Still 20 minutes to go in this game. Nine-minute halves. Uh-oh, what, what is going on there? Hello. He's just... Thanks, given back possession. Is he looking for an equaliser here, potentially? Hold on. Travella it. No! Oh, he's offside. He's me a ham. As that goal goes in, Levy finds a fourth. Levy to it 4-1. He leads against the Wanos. All eyes on this one, though. Under 20 minutes left. Tex has to win. Great dribbling. Oh, Big win again, Kim and Jay. Playing with a lot more purpose tax now, isn't he? Yeah. Time is against him. He needs two to stand a chance. That post could be available. Oh, the touch inside. There's Bon Pastel. Right place, right time. Harlem would be offside. Defended well again by the South Korean defender. It's rash from Albright just stepping up constantly out. He's done, he stepped again there, this time winning possession. But it seems like he's just pulling players out the way. It's weird. I, yeah. Bad touch from Tex. Goes out for a breaking point. Let's quickly check into Levy's game. We'll give you an update there. As we said, he is cruising his way through. 4 1. Levy leads in this one. 18 points on the board, it will be. An absolutely incredible, incredible points total as well. I think if he wins the, the final game as well, which it looks like he's going to win this game. He could go on to be the highest scoring yep. in groups, and what a statement that is, Ryan. Yeah, that just shows how incredible Levy has played throughout this competition. His intent as well. Sorry, I thought it was going to be a Traveller from the one off playing it inside. Pele, McGeady Katsul shot at the near post. A good save there from Petacek. But yeah, Levy has been incredible. The fact he has to play Uma if he, if he tops this group, the results stay the same. That could easily be a final. What a game that is. We, it's lining up very, very nicely. Well, FG, we'll let you head back across and we'll catch you soon. See you soon, thank you. Well, just a quick word on the one -offs. As we switch games, what a tournament it has been for him. Unfortunately, his road will come to an end here in the FC Pro Open. Let's jump back to Tex against Obram. As Tex could be on for an equaliser. Thibaut Courtois is on the pitch, Ryan. Oh, what finesse. does that tell you? It's Route 1 football, just another option at the back post. If all else fails aerially, there's going to be no defender in the game to match his high, uh, his aerial ability. I believe it's the aerial plus play style as well. I could be incorrect about that, but I believe so. So his, his jump is extra um, higher than normal. I mean, this is ultimate team, isn't it? Courtois on as a striker. Yeah. Has he, got, has he got his gloves on? No, he hasn't. <laughs> well, he did for a second. Xavi. Final 10 minutes here. Tex on the hunt for a 3 3. This would be remarkable if he was to pull this one back. Cafu, oh. right place, right time, just in front of Courtois. See Harlan just drifting wide there into space. Just an option. It's a switch. Was on. Pause cued there from Tex. He knows he has to go for it. He needs two goals, Brandon. He can do it. He has to go forward. Aubrey has been incredible. I feel as if, though, as the game's gone on, Aubrey's felt a little, little bit more shaky than, than normal. Fuma as well, waiting. I wonder how the wings feel. I would love. I just want to see the group in terms of the goal difference. I would love to see so how the goal I'm difference. I'm interested on. I could be wrong with this. Obron wins this game. He will go to 13 by my by my book. Yes, yeah. Fuma's on 10. When Fuma and Obron played, they drew 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. I think that I would like, again, we need to Obviously see the group standings. Obviously, we're going to say, winner goes through. We'd like to say, here's a chance, uh -oh. Courtois! Courtois! Oh, no! What? Oh, my God. You won't get a better chance than that! Oh, my goodness. Was there a pass on? I don't know, it all moved so quickly. Look at the replay. What an awful, that's a terrible mistake. He's played it direct in. Is that green as well? I, I, I think he's greened it, and it's, that's crazy. Back wow. on the way, there is still a chance here. Let's get this green. Back on. Where's Courtois at the back post? There he is. Here Courtois is in the air. Cuts it back inside. Mia oh, Hamm defended well by Yashin. Yashin. Two goalkeepers in the box. The space, look how much space there is for it. 
A counter attack. He's on. Oh, Miaham turns. Oh, he could be in trouble. This could be done. Big trouble. Back to De Bruyne. Oh, what a plot that is from Davies. Well, Brummel, no. He does not oh, need to score goodness. again. What a chance it was. <laughs> I a don't know what I'm from seeing, Kim and Jay. I don't understand what I'm seeing here. Chance to break again now. Look at Ronaldinho. Far inside of your screen. As it stands, Tex will go out of the race. And all eyes will go on Fuma and Obron to qualify for the finals. Two goals in three minutes would be remarkable. It would be a crazy ending. Are we on for one of those goals now? Ronaldinho down the byline, breaks it. Where's that pass? Courtois will be there in the air, but he's up against Courtois. And that should realistically be enough now. Obron would go to 13 points on the board. And he would have to face Fuma. Kim, great step. I just don't think there's enough time there's for two. There's time of three minutes. Bon Pastor. She may have been questioned, but she has been remarkable. Big win again. Where's the cutback? It's great. Tanks looking for one. It's just not enough time. I don't think there's enough time. I don't think there's enough time. It would be. Dribbling is insane, though. It's absolutely beautiful from Tex. Just going towards the byline, the dive in there from Aubrey. I just don't think a minute. One minute twenty. Yeah. I mean, if you lose the ball in one minute twenty, you'd have a hard look at yourself. Yeah, there's just no way. Tex has caused it. Maybe I, I just don't see it. That's it's just not enough time. There was a moment many years ago in competitive gaming. It was a Middle East qualifier. No, an African qualifier, and it was Beast Bianchi. Yeah, that's a good, yeah, that's a throwback, yeah. It was one of the most remarkable 90 pluses I've ever seen. I would be, I would, I don't know what I'd do. If Tech scores here, Richard just, just waved to me saying he'll do a forfeit. If Tex manages to, to get a goal here. Oh, really? I just, a minute is just not enough time, less than a minute. You can't lose the ball. It's a, yeah. It's that's 20 not. seconds. It's job done. Oh my goodness, that's so done. risky. Tex, unfortunately. Aubrey's going for the win, that's why. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hasn't oh. done enough. Full time result. Tex goes out of the FC Pro Open. He has given it. I need to see the standings because I believe that. He can still get 11 points. But Aubrey is currently on the nice and positive because technically, if. He would need Ogren to drop points, but then that would be against Puma, who wins, who would leap from both of them. If they draw, Ogren still qualify. Yeah, it's in Ogren and Puma's hands for whoever to make second spot yeah. in the group, so it's... Of course, yeah. he will not be going through. What a night he's given us, though, of chances, of moments, of just a chance to believe that maybe he could have turned it all around tonight. Obron and Tex have had an unbelievable game there. Remember the last time they played, Obron won 4-2 this time. The points were shared. If Courtois scores that goal... Game, yeah, complete. Game on.